in and dry them jumbos to quail, jumbo stuff quail. Life's moving too fast when you have to pass on jumbo stuff quail, jumbo. Hello and welcome to Jolie Living. I'm Rick. This is Anigo, my nephew, mm -hmm. and other family members are lurking about. Today we're in the kitchen and we're making sushi inspired California type rolls. And they're actually going to be rainbow colored in honor of Pride Month for June. And uh, we have five different colors of rice. We got colors of the rainbow for our vegetables. And then we got some variations that we're going to do that really won't be mixed with everything. We're going to make some hot dog and mac and cheese flavored Yum. rolls. Yeah. Can't wait to try that. Nope. This recipe is inspired um, from a post I saw on Healthy Altitudes today, and they had passed it along from the Indigo Kitchen. So thanks to them, they will be mentioned uh, in a link down in the description below. All right, here we go. We're back. Um, before you put the, we're back. We're back. We were gone. <laughs> it's, it's no, we're back. Seamless. <laughs> oh no, at least not for a commercial, didn't we? Uh -huh, you got the towels on. Okay. Yeah, yeah things Water. changed. <laughs> um, um, we're going to start to put the rice on the nori, the, the sheet of seaweed, but we're going to get our fingers wet because it is very sticky rice. I'm going to do the first one here. You just grab a little, a little rice and we're going to spread it out. We'll say like two grains thick is what we're going for. Hey, don't you just watch the first one? Yeah, just... Uh, if you don't mind, just watch and we'll, we'll get it up. We're trying to get it, see over here? We're trying yeah. to get it out close to the edge. Mm -hmm. So this is the beginning of the roll. This is the size of the roll. So it's, right. it just takes a bit, of, a bit of time to get it there. And when your fingers are sticky, it makes it even slower. So you're kind of s smashing it. And we're trying to keep this not too wide, because we have five colors to get. So I guess you can go ahead and start on one. Remember, you gotta do them in rainbow order too. Do you? you you're good with purple, but then you gotta move to blue and green. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's another Yeah, we need advice on, uh, on the order. Mm -hmm. It's gotta be purple, red, blue, yellow. green, yellow, red. Or red, yellow, green, blue, Ooh. purple. Right? Yeah, that's what wet enough. Dude. One, Just some more. One hand. One hand. One hand. You. Yeah, so wash it off in your bowl. This is good blueprint. And then yeah. dry it on your towel. And then remember, do what Uncle Rick's doing. Hold down yeah. the corner. With your dry hand. Yeah. And and keep this a little closer to to this end if you can. Alright. Yeah. Wait, didn't my hand be a little wet so it doesn't my hands will stick to it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's what sticky. that's what the water's for. You just get your fingertips wet. Yeah, you just yeah. remember Roy G. Big. And you oh, want it. You want to get a little closer to the edge, yellow. amigo. I think. Yeah, out out uh, to those yeah. ends. Otherwise, those are just wasted slices. Cause you yeah. can you picture it? We're gonna roll this up. It's gonna be a right. log, and we slice it. Right. Yeah. And so just picture those as as waste at the end. So if you can fill it up, go ahead. If not, it's just waste. You'll, I know you'll eat the the nori. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we started making yeah. sushi rolls during the pandemic, and it's just kind of, we have fun doing it, and we have family in town, so we thought this would be a great way to uh, share some time and make some good food. And the family who is encouraging this sushi habit. Yeah. Our niece and nephews have, uh, they contributed to, they got me a rice bowl for Christmas, um, Nice chopsticks, so it just encouraged me, and a book, a sushi book. So, it's time to get creative, well, this is getting creative. <laughs> a variation on a California roll. That's right. Yep. All right, we got our colors in place. Um, I struggled a bit to get all five on there. Same. Because you want to leave, what's, you can really bring the rice all the way to the edge of your start of your roll, but at the end, you need just a little bit of nori still exposed so that it'll, the roll will seal shut. And you don't have to lick it and stick it or anything. <laughs> what we're gonna do is just, uh, in general, layer the vegetables covering about this much. 
you can't go that far down or it'll be a, a lumpy roll that you never get closed. You know, they're mostly at the center. So take like a couple of peppers, see, and they can overlap a little bit, but they basically cover the links, or I guess that's the width of the roll. Bring it back, yeah, there you go, that's good. And then get enough carrots to get carrots across there. And what's nice about this, you can use whatever you like, whatever vegetables, whatever works for you. Anything can go on sushi, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. As we're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing uh, some cucumber. cucumber there, sweet pea. We can... Cucumber's tasty. Yeah. And we have used asparagus in the past, mm, which yeah. is nice. I have, we have some sweet potatoes here that we have, I don't know if you'd say par-baked, or it's just a, yeah. you know, just a, in the oven at 300 for about 20 minutes. And, uh... Yeah. Trying to keep them from being mush. But yeah, put a few layers across there. And then the avocado. Then we're on to avocado. Yeah. So that's the part, you know, it's kind of sticky. So grab some and just put it across there. You get an appreciation for the people that do put together sushi rolls and how completely filled and, and how pretty they look when you go and try to make one on your own. So, I think this is good enough. We'll see how well this rolls up. Um, so just hang back and watch me on this, okay? All right. So you see your, your mat underneath the, right. the mat? So I'm kind of grabbing everything, just, just watch. And I'm putting my fingers right in there to grab everything. And as we, we start to roll, we let it um, roll over itself. Mm. And that seems kind of strange. So we don't want to tuck the, the mat in because the mat has to come out, right? right? So we let the mat come out and we just slowly roll. And as it gets a little further, it's okay to like grab it here and put a little pressure to pull everything back and tuck it in nicely. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I said it before, but we're using parchment paper. A lot of people use a plastic wrap just to keep it from sticking to your mat. to your mat. So come back and roll. It always makes it look so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my I think because I have two layers of paper right now, it's wanting to go in mm -hmm. a weird way. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. It's hard to line it up. But now there we go. Yeah. All right. That's good technique right there. That's that's hard to do. Then you get to open it up. See what we got. And there you can see. Yay! Yay! We got our first sushi roll. Yeah. A little bit of av avocado came out. You get to eat that. <laughs> yeah. Um. So see what you got. Yep, and at that point, if you can put your thumbs on the mat and put your fingers up into the vegetables, and that helps. Yep. Yeah. There, there you go. go. That's a good technique. Yep. Bringing it over. Nice. Yeah. Okay, now you can put your fingers right in here. Grab behind on right where right, mine are. Right? Yep. And just give it a little pinch back. Let go. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now try to try to advance the roll. Yep. It's looking good. Nope. It's sliding. It's sliding. Okay. Yeah, bring it back there. I'll, I'll try to keep it from sliding. There you go. There you go. Now yeah, give it another yeah. Pinch, like, yeah, give it with yeah, both hands. Perfect. Yeah. Both hands. Nice. Yep. Yeah, excellent. Bring it on. Please. Keep on going. All right. Okay, let's see what we got. Woohoo! Looks great. Nice. Yeah, Yay! Well that was pretty fun. Yeah. We, we, we did our other rolls, but this time we're going to, instead of rice, we're going to use mac and cheese, which is one of my favorite foods. So it's, it's going to be pretty exciting. 
Shout out to Annie's mac and cheese. Yeah, Annie's mac and cheese. Blue it's box. The best. The be it's the best mac and cheese. That's not homemade. Which can probably take a Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think I dump a whole bunch. Most of the bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. maybe maybe work that yeah. that amount there. What how like how deep do you think we're going? Probably one one noodle layer. One noodle layer. If it's not thick enough, we can probably do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Never go out to the edges. Yeah, give them all of those edges. Oh, we got another. Yeah. Another yes. nephew. Yeah. Yeah. Valentine showed up. This is actually kind of hard to. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine is photo bombing. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. A, he's the sushi sushi fan. I'm an observer. Mm -hmm. He's a sushi fan. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I think you need some more. Okay. Mac yeah, and you can take some more to get out to the edges. The thickness is looking good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I'm gonna. Can't wait to have one of these. I know it's yeah. so good. Yeah. You might need two mac and cheese rolls because one might not be enough. Oh right, no. Of course, we're gonna have two. Yeah. We need two. And then. All right. What are you gonna add next? Um. Hot dog. The, the hot. The hot. hot the, the hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Right. I say know how much to put on here. Well, do yeah. one. Yeah. Get them all the way across. Like bring it out close to the edge. Yeah. And then on, yeah. And then I'd say, you can do that. And then we, we also thought there was one other ingredient out of here that you might put on, right? Pepper. And you think the, mm -hmm. the, the possibly the red bell pepper. Yeah. Do that. And that's across there. And then it's up to you. You could add another oh, yeah. uh, layer of pepper. Another layer of pepper. I might even might add one more layer, layer of hot dog. Put, put the yeah, hot dog. Put the right yeah. in the middle of those. Right in the middle. Yeah. There you go. The peppers. Yeah. Okay. What is this? It's it's an amazingness. That may be the name of this roll. You know, they the all amazingness have amazingness roll. Yeah. So go ahead the and use your The amazing roll. There you go. Yeah. Of yep. meat and cheese and noodles. It's yeah. not really sushi. It's a it's roll. Not, wait, I shouldn't. Be doing that. Right. It's not really sushi. But it's gonna yeah, be give that a squeeze. Squeeze. All right, now advance it a little. Yeah, you wanna... There you go. Yeah, squeeze at the bottom. There you go. All right. Nice. Now go ahead and advance it some more. You got plenty of. Oh, right. Plenty of overlap available. Don't want the noodles escaping. No. All right. There you go. Uh, uh, this isn't a very well because okay. I don't think there's no there's no sticky rice to stick oh, it. Oh right, maybe why? Yeah, I wish you thought of that. But it's still it's it's, it's gonna be tasty. It's, gonna it's just loose. Good. It's All right, now we got another sushi chef in the kitchen. Nah. This kid's yeah. mom. Yeah, here's Naomi, my sister-in-law. Okay. So she's gonna she's gonna make one of the original mm. rainbow sushi, and We'll watch her do it. I'm just gonna sit back. No, <laughs> I gotta get started on mine. I gotta make my colors closer gotta, together, not as wide. Tell right. them why we got inspired. Well, yeah, one of the things that kind of got me inspired uh, to make sushi was uh, during pandemic times, we would watch these. This fine family lives miles and miles away, mm -hmm. and we would do movie night just over the phone. Yeah, call sit each there, other on speaker. Yep, yeah, and talk about it. You know, figure out what movie we could all agree on, or <laughs> what at least two people could agree on, and then the rest <laughs> of us watch it. But uh, one evening we watched East Side Sushi, mm -hmm. and it was so fun to watch. It was a a woman who decided she wanted to be a sushi chef instead of a Mexican chef, it, it, right. right? And uh, just kind of her battle to come up through through a restaurant and as a woman, as a woman, as a Latina, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very inspiring. Sure was. Yeah. Yeah. It was good yeah. Way. Yeah. It's also a good way to pass the pandemic. Yes. Yep. Watching. Good way to Moves. connect with our people from afar. Is yeah. So it, since it was during pandemic, I ordered the, my first uh, bamboo roller and even the rice online. Just mm -hmm. you know, normally you'd go in the grocery store and just look around and find this stuff, but. It was just a little easier to order on online and have it right delivered to your door. Yeah. So that looks very nice. 
thank you. I think you've done this before. I I have learned, I observed you and Inigo (laughs) just now, and um, how the importance of keeping my my rows thin, right, so I can fit all five of my colors. Yes. So one of the things that I really liked, Rick, about your first video was the way that you talked about food as, I don't know, and preparing food as something that brings people together. Yeah. You know, and a way to spend time together and... That's something I think I learned through my through my grandpa Royal. It was always a big deal to him. Yeah. But really both both sides of the family. But yeah, it kind of. And that's uh, I see that's something that you do as well. Yeah, yeah. Your uh, your spouse and I grew up in that kind of family too, for yeah. sure. Right. Our um, well, our mom, our mom and dad really modeled the importance of you know being just sharing food with people and. Having people in your home and generosity and hospitality, um, and our grandmother yeah. also really modeled that. She was kind of an amazing woman. Um, yeah. Now you're carrying it on with uh, your children, huh? Yeah, we're trying to. Pandemic well, made it hard to share. Well, <laughs> share yeah, food, but, didn't it? But uh, you've always been teaching them things. Yeah. We know one of them is a, a big baker in the family. We're hoping to get her on a taste someday. test. Or, yeah. Someday. She has she ideas. Is, you know, she's soon to have a camera. She's yeah. got great ideas. Yeah. She's Not backstage funny. with me. I don't get on the camera much either. Right. Yeah. I think I might have made my rose too thin, Rick. No. <laughs> You can just make it up with the last one. Or just or mash it more. down a little bit. Yeah, yeah right? I got some... I got, yeah. I, there's lots of room to mash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry's worried we wouldn't have enough rice, but this is plenty. Yeah. yeah. How many Ooh, rolls does this though. make? Uh, I don't know. Depends on how, how thick you make it. Yeah, right? Okay. What'd you say, Nico? Run all blue. We're running low on blue, I think. We're running low on yellow, I think, is what's happening over here. And I know these nieces and nephews have always been learning about cooking at, at home, but uh, there have been a couple of summers here at our house where they've mm-hmm. done some cooking. Mm-hmm. We had cousins camp. Our nieces and nephews were invited. Collection of cousins. Collection of cousins mm-hmm. from all over the country. And they... We had a chopped junior competition. <laughs> had pantry orientation. We had aunt and uncle um, helping with cleanup, grandparents, and then we even had judges. Yeah, that was right. a fun time. A lot of effort on cleanup, but it's still <laughs> still rewarding. Were we? I was a guest judge, wasn't I? The no, first? you weren't you a judge. Were, you were an That's observer. right, I was not allowed to. You were no, in, no. Yeah. That's right. You, you were, been, you were in the live studio You would have been blindfolded audience. if Man, you were a I judge. Wasn't in the Me and Erica had like the most creative one. Mm-hmm. We got kicked out first. Yeah. Did you? You got chopped first? Yes. We had the, we had the lemon that? head crust on the chicken. That was that so was good. That was so good. The lemon head potato chicken crust. I don't know who would put lemon heads in a basket. How rude. Lemon heads and the chips, they didn't stick How to the chicken. How rude indeed. Or it didn't go to plan. Oh my god. It got chopped first. See, there's, look at that rainbow. That's a great yeah, nephew. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. What are you going to put in there? I don't know yet. I like avocado. So I'm going to definitely put some avocado in there. And then I'm Well, I haven't sure. seen, these would work good as reverse rolls too. I haven't ever yeah. tried one, but you know. They, oh, you, yeah, and, right? I've just seen yours. I, I think that would, that. that would. Don't try cool. it, but. Um, what reverse? <laughs> don't try this at home. <laughs> no, yeah, don't try this at home. I'm going to grab Okay, so over here we're working on some uh, Denver rolls, which is sort of a riff on the California roll, right? Like if, if we were going for a Denver omelet, for example, we right. have ham. We don't have any ham. Oh, so yeah. instead we're using the pork oh, we yeah. have. No, it's not pork. It's, it's beef. beef. It's, Dang it. It's. it's Call it a lake roll. It's, yeah, it's a lake lake wood wood roll. roll. It's the Lakewood roll. Like one of our local places, they have a Colfax roll. Nice. Using my fingers. I'm going to get this over. I'm going to give it a pinch, right? Ah, you abandoned me. You walked away. You <laughs> oh, left me. Sorry. You left, you left me so rolling. much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's good. 
That's okay. good. Yeah, then. Okay. Yeah, just kind of pull that out. Pull that front. out. Yep. And then keep it rolling. Yep. Oh, did I lose? No. Nope. No. Okay. You're good. Okay. All right. And that's just rolling out but on its own there. Now pull the parchment there. paper out. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get it. There you go. Now, about to there. Give it a good squeeze now. It's going to be a nice, healthy one. Strangling this roll. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Let me. Oh. Oh. That's a Look good roll. <gasps> Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what's happening? You've you've modified the mac and cheese roll? Yeah, just a little bit. We tried to make it a little, just a little more um, hey, even a layer of mac and cheese. And now I'm going to do a little drizzle of sriracha down the middle. Just a little, a little <laughs> bit, you know, so it's not too, too hot. You have, no, you have to do all the way down the middle. A ribbon all the way down the middle. Yeah, baby, I'm working on it. I don't want it to be so blazing hot, dude. Well, no, but so that when we cut it up, each piece has sriracha in it. I guess. Okay. All right. You're right. You're totally, totally right. Hot. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to try rolling again. But first, I'm going to do a little... I'm just going to wet this up here, too. To, since we don't have that sticky rice holding stuff together quite so well, we're just going to wet the... Nori. Nori. Have some rolling anxiety. No. Over that. Now and that's you can give the a squeeze. squeeze Roll squeezy squeezy. Yeah. And then advance. Pull that out. And yeah. you can probably yeah, just take it all the way over. And then do another. Yeah, now squeeze. Squeeze it again. Yeah. Really tight. Pack that in. Ta-da! Ah, there we wow. go. Okay, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You want to close in here, Crummy, on the uh, you can tell what sriracha it is. noodles? Rolled out. Yeah. Now we're ready to move on and cut them, cut slice them. them. Slice them up. So one thing you want to do is uh, keep your knife wet, otherwise it just sticks and drags through the nori and the rice. We were going to cut it in half and then split it. All right, so we're going to start with the one that I'm pretty sure is going to be the most pretty, the one Naomi did. Had beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful colors. So, and you just slice. Let the knife do the slicing. Don't, don't force it, or you'll just smash everything. You're so good at being patient, Rick. Let's. Oh, and there's what we got. That's beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Yay! That's so cool. We got some rainbows. Some rainbows. So now we're gonna slice these up, lay them out. I can't wait to see how the mac and cheese looks. But I'm trying it. The, the mac and cheese sushi has been cut. So the vet, I'm trying it. All right. It has some sriracha in it too. What do we think? It takes time. You have to process it. Swish it around in your palate. <laughs> cool. Did he That's try great. it? It's good? It's really good. All yeah. right. Put the rest of this down. Okay. Success. Yay. All right. Well, now they're all sliced and ready to eat. We we like to uh, drizzle them with a yogurt sriracha or a mayo, mayo sriracha. sriracha. And we have wasabi. We'll get some tamari or soy sauce out to dip it in. But right now, mm -hmm. uh, most of the people who contributed are going to give us a taste test here. See what we think. Zooming in. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not doing the yogurt thing. Okay. You don't have Dipping. To do it. I have to do it. Yeah. You gotta right. dip. Okay. One, two, three. Mmm. 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 That's crazy. That's really good. good job, everyone. Thank you. Yay. Happy Pride. Happy yeah, Pride. Happy Pride Month. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So that's it for now. Thank you for watching Jolie Living. Please subscribe, give us a like, and feel free to comment. I say I put the emphasis on subscribe because it's just slowly happening here in the room as we did this project. <laughs> but thank you all for doing that. All right, bye bye. I'm going to go in and try them jumbo stuff quail, jumbo stuff quail. Life's moving too fast when you have to pass on jumbo stuff quail. Jumbo stuffed quail, jumbo stuffed quail. I saw the sign, but I didn't have time for jumbo stuffed quail.